Hi everybody, this is Denise with PurplePaperParadise.com and today I'm here with another Make the Cut video for you. And I thought it would be a lot of fun to kind of play around with the rhinestone feature that's in Make the Cut. Now if you've been following me for a while, then you probably remember that back in, I think it was September or October, I did a couple of videos for the eCraft design team on using rhinestones with the eCraft and how to cut the rhinestone rubber and everything like that. I will put um, those videos in uh, my blog with along with this video so that you can um, see how to complete this type of project and in that particular video I used um, rhinestone patterns from eCraftCentral.com today using make the cut I'm going to show you how you can create your own rhinestone patterns so you'll see here on the screen that I've got two hearts and I just brought these in from the basic shapes and make the cut and they're both uh, three inches tall and I'm going to show you a little bit here about the rhinestones Right down here is the rhinestone button and you can also click on or press control K on your keyboard to bring this up. And when it brings up this window, and I'm going to just move this here so you can see the hearts better, you can see that it's telling us to uh, select a stone size. Um, the, probably one of the most common stone sizes is the SS10. Uh, which is a very small rhinestone and I've also used um, the 16's and the 20's um, but you can see here that Andy from Make the Cut has them going all the way up to 75 and all the way down to a triple zero um, so it depends on what size stones that you have and what size you want to use I want to show the SS10 because that's the most common one that I've come across and so there's two options here. There's outline shapes and fill shapes. Let's start with outline shapes. What this is going to do is it's going to place rhinestones right along your red outside of the pattern here, leaving the middle open. And there's a spacing bar here. And let me show you a little bit with that. I'm going to click on Preview on Mat. And you'll see here then that it took out that shape and it's made it into a bunch of little circles that when cut, into your rhinestone rubber you can place your rhinestones into. Now this spacing actually is pretty good with the exception of this little bobble down here. So I'm going to try to increase the spacing just a smidge and see if that um, kind of closes that gap and actually that's like perfect right there. I love how that looks. So you can play with this spacing. The, the bigger your number is the wider your rhinestones will be apart. Um, so depending on what you have you can play around with that so that you get it just right. I'm going to go ahead and click accept on that one. And now on this heart I'm going to go back into my rhinestone button and we're going to use fill shapes here. So again using the same stone size of 10 I'm going to click on fill shapes and preview on mat and here you can see that we have filled in the, the heart. Some of our edges are not very well defined though. So this is where again spacing can kind of come into play. So if I increase my spacing, you can see here that it kind of cleans up some of these edges, but it also makes the rhinestones farther apart. So if I take it down to where it's lower than what it was before and hit preview, you can see that that makes them a lot tighter. And this edge is a little bit better defined. Like this side is like perfect, but this side over here is, is kind of fidgety. So this is just kind of something that you have to kind of play with and see what you like to work with. The other thing to keep in mind too is they give you a count here of how many stones you're going to be using. And with this right now, I'm at 400 stones. That's a lot. So I'm thinking I might actually want to just really increase it and just do something more along this line to where I'm not using quite as much detail in my heart. But then again, I also knocked down my stones to 175, which is much more doable. So that's um, two ways to work with rhinestones on shapes. Now, I also want to show you how to work with rhinestones using text. And I'm going to go ahead and put my cursor down here. I am using the Eras Demi ITC font. And when I click here and add a text group, I've already got my Bling Me Baby um, in there so I'm going to go ahead and hit accept 
for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to make it larger here so that we can see it a little bit better, but you don't have to. It depends on what you want to do. And now if I go into my rhinestones just with my font here, here's what's going to happen. If I hit fill shapes, I can't read at all what that says. So let's go to outline shapes. Still can't read what that says. So what I like to do with these is I like to use a feature that you'll find on the, under the advanced icon called Thin Paths. And when I click on that, you can see that it took those double lines of the font and made it one single line. And it looks a little bit funky. It's not quite the same as the font, but it works really well with the rhinestones. So if I go to my rhinestones, and with this too, I found outline shapes always works better. We're going to go ahead and, do I have my stone size set right? Yeah. Hit preview, and I obviously need to play with the spacing here a little bit on this one. There we go. That's much better. That actually looks pretty darn good there. But you can see here how I just can kind of play around with this and get it to where I want it. And that way I can create text out of rhinestones. So that is how to use the rhinestone feature and rhinestone rubber cuts so well in the e-craft that it's really something that if you haven't tried to do it, you should, but I will warn you, it can be a little addicting. So I hope you have a lot of fun playing with it though because I've always enjoyed it and um, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. This is Denise from PurplePaperParadise.com.